of love. Hmm? Right? If our parents didn't love each other, hmm, we wouldn't be here. That means love is the basis of creation. Head? Hmm? Not much? Hmm. Hmm. Love is the basis of creation. Without love, even the creation wouldn't be. And when you love, you just want to have a little fun, play. Maybe that's why God created the whole world. God loved Himself. Okay, let us settle that way. Every time I try to say something about God, I hesitate. Should I use the term himself or herself or itself? If you are all comfortable with himself, okay? Yeah, I'll just make him a he. God must have loved himself. And when suddenly when you want to love, you should have somebody else. Only then there is some play. So God wanted to love, express the love, but there was nobody else. I mean, before the creation, before anything happened anywhere, God was all alone. So He couldn't express His love. He couldn't even say, Honey, I love you. For that, you need somebody else. I think that is the reason why He started creating one by one. And then he loved it. That's why he said, Oh, that was good. Hmm? Hmm? Until then, it was not good. Hmm? So you see, the very creation starts with love. How does it continue? How is it preserved again with love? That's why once Saint Ramakrishna said, I say, when you go to a new town, you go there to see all the nice beautiful things, hmm? what's happening everywhere, hmm? how many nice restaurants are there, how many nightclubs are there, how many beaches are there, what kind of movies are running, it's for that you go to your town. But Ramakrishna says, all right, you can enjoy all that, but don't get into that right away. Go to your hotel first. Book a room. Put your luggage there. Lock the door. Put the key in the pocket. Then you go roam around. Even if you are there in the nightclub till midnight, when you are tired, you have a place to go and sleep. 
But if you forget all that and if you keep busy in these things and you go at 12 o'clock, all the hotels are closed. You won't even have a place to sleep. So get the home, get the key and then play around. So the world is a big in. Hmm? Yeah. The whole world is an in thing. Hmm? Hmm, is that what you call in thing? There's an in thing. Hmm? In. Hmm? But you have to first book your room. Hmm? That means first get that place where you can be comfortable, where you can rest after all these days roaming around. And that's God's abode. Get that key fast. Then you have plenty of time to roam around, play. And any time you feel tired, you have a place to go. Seek that hotel room first. Everything else will be added unto you afterwards. <laughs> Very true, yeah. So you see, even pushing you out, giving you suffering, is out of love. God's grace. There was a beautiful prayer to God. A devotee sung. He says, Lord, your grace is sometimes very loving, sometimes very harsh. Karunai or Karuna is grace. Arak Karunai and Marak Karunai. Aram means in a loving way, He blesses you. But if you are a real big dummy buffalo, you can't just be loving. You say, come on, go, trot. You won't. Nah. <laughs> so He has to show you, Marakarani, take a club. <clears throat> then you move. <laughs> His interest is in making you movie. <laughs> Not all are nice, huh? 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 very intelligent, huh? sensitive horses. Huh? Some are like real big buffaloes, thick skin. <laughs> so you see, even beating is out of mercy. Because he knows, without that you won't budge an inch. How often we see this, even in the classroom. Not all the boys will study just because the teacher said so. Hmm? He has to punish you. Impositions, this, that, hmm? stand up on the bench. Hmm? In those days, I don't know now how it is. Hmm? Sometimes we even use the cane. Hmm? Why? Because the teacher is interested in your study. He wants you to study well, to become a bright boy. For that reason, he even uses his cane. Without that, he cannot teach you. Hmm? If you don't use the cane, you cannot. Nowadays you take the teacher to the court and your papa and mama also will say, Oh, he's my darling, how dare you touch him? I want him to be a fool. <laughs> That's what's going on nowadays. Eh? The parents take the teacher to the court. Because he was a little strict. But 
God is the super father. He doesn't have to answer anybody. <laughs> Even your papa and mama are his kids. So when he sees that's the only way you will be taught, he'll go ahead and do it. But remember that's out of love. So you see that loving hand throughout, from the beginning till the end, not only in this life, in all the lives that you pass through, and not only the human beings, everything, even a minute insect, even a, a small cell, even a particle, is loved by God. That's why we always say God is love. But very often we draw an equation. The equation is God is love and love is blind and therefore who is blind? God is blind. God is love, love is blind, therefore God should be blind. God is love. When the love gets limited, it becomes blind. God is unlimited love, infinite. There is no limitation for God's love. But when you limit it, when you make it selfish, personal, then you call it attachment, not love. And that's blind. How often you see even mothers huh, or fathers, huh, due to their attachment to the children, they spoil them. Even if your own pet, if you are attached to that too much, it will never get house broken. It will break the house. Hmm? And that's what you call attachment. It's also love. Even wars are caused by love. Thiruvallavar again says, Arathukke anbusal venbar for virtuous good deeds, love is needed. It's by love you do nice things. But even for harsh things, even for war and such things, love is the cause. How could there be war with love? It's simple. If you love somebody, you don't want the other guy to look at her. <laughs> Too long, probably. Huh? You say, hey, what are you staring at? Huh? Huh? You are at war. <laughs> Why? You loved this girl and you don't want him to look at her. Possessive. You loved your country, so you don't want any other country to come up a little more than you or even equal. I want to be the superpower. How dare eh? you raise up? Hmm? See? Wars between nations are caused by this so called national love. You love your country. During the last world war, the Japanese, because they loved their country, they even formed a suicide 
squadron. You know that? <coughs> they got into your bomb and threw themselves with the bomb into the ship's tunnels and exploded. Because that's the only way they can guide the bomb. Nowadays we have remote controls, but in those days real person was inside the bomb guiding it. So they won't want to miss the mark. And they dive right into the engine room and explode. That means how much they would have loved their country. But why should they destroy the other country? Because they loved their country and not the other country. That is the limited love. Love limited creates problems. Love unlimited, cosmic love makes you always happy. <coughs>